That's what guys, nice to see you again. In previous video, we have know how to use tools in software. So today, I'm going to introduce one type of It's called FRIP. Of the curves at the bottom sweater, and there are many types of ribbon like uh, one multiply one, two multiply two, and, and so forth. And the F ribbon is still one type of jacket, too. And I'll show you how it looks like at the end of the next episode. So let's have it in the software. Okay, let's have it in the software and uh, create a new file. Next, finish and save it. The name um, F ribbon. A bad many of you will start to confuse from this episode because what it shows up program is based on familiarity with fabric structure and uh, the imagination of how needles are conducted on the machine. And that means you have to run the machine by yourself. Okay, that's why now just uh, turn to the major conversation. Before program F ribbon, we need to make a uh, trash on basement first. And the basement consists of three parts, and all three parts is made of uh, trash yarn. And the first part you draw is called bird eye. First, switch to number eight. Code is called front it, and uh, we need to draw number eight on the first needle, and uh, switch to number eight, uh, the back knit, and uh, we need to uh, draw one back knit on the second needle. I, pre I actually prefer leave one margin column. Yeah, it's my custom. And uh, on the second row, uh, change their positions. Right now, you might not to know the structure of the front knit and back knit. I will explain later. Right now, just uh, do what I did. Okay. Actual experience state what you're right now. Now again, the codes over here represents you know how uh, needles are conducted on machine, and the actions can be divided into four parts: knit, transfer, tuck, and uh, without knit. The loops on machine will be like this: two legs that's right on their own side, slack this pattern, and uh, press K, and uh, let extend to eighty rows. Okay, eight rows right here. The bird eye and the bird eye right now is finished. And now let's just go to the function line, right here, and uh, choose and choose the number seven density, and press F two. Uh, return to the uh, the start point, and right now just draw a number one on first four columns. Just pull this four part with the uh, bird eye from the bottom to the top, and give a four, give a four column, right here. They correspond with each other, and uh, that's okay. In this place will cut patterns into a uh, different different paragraph. One, the number one is just the mark. For um, but the file is finished, you can you can set number one on the on the machine. And then you can change the density of the first paragraph on the machine. You can have a tighter or a slacker. And right now switch to uh, fifteen. Distant rotate. And have to back to the uh, the base point and uh, give it number one. One spot is fine. And switch to 21 uh, yarn stop point. And uh, still at the base point, give it one. I will explain this to when I need it on the machine. And the first part is not finished. And uh, let's just uh, switch to the second part. And the second, the second part is called trash yarn interim. And uh, it has only one row. Just give one row of number 10 for needle. The number, and the number 10 means the front loop and the back loop. And switch to uh, number seven density function line, and uh, give four grades. Switch to and uh, this is the second part right. We give two on this row. Four is fine. Four grades, and the third part is called the third part is called trash on slackness. Now we're gonna have one row of front knit and uh, two row of uh, back knit. But in the knitting video, I said front knit in the middle. And this part is the third part, we have to set number three on the corresponding sector in the function line. And it's not finished, and we still have to give two rows of number 17. That means and that means take off the back knit from the uh, back needles. Three and still and number three on these two rows in the density function line. Okay, right now the trash on basement has been set. And let's decide which yarn feet you like to use. For the typical flattening machine has 16 yarn feeders, with 8 yarn feeders placed on both sides of the machine, and rank from number 1 to number 8, from near to far, left 1 to left 1 to left 8, 
and the right one to right eight. And for trash yarn, we prefer to use number one and number eight. And the yarn feeder is used for the number five part, we prefer to use from number three to number six. And the basement is made of trash yarn, so we use number one. Okay, right now let's turn to uh, number 17 function line and uh, F2 from the base point and give number one on the first column from the bottom to the top of the pattern. Except, except rows of uh, number 16 take off. We don't need uh, set number one on this on this row, okay? The number 16 function line decides, you know, which jump feeder we decide to use. And the basement is trash part, so uh, for me, I prefer to use number one. And for number 17, yarn is not involved in the takeout process. It causes bad loops fall out from back needle and uh, no new loops involved in this action. So, so we don't need yarn feeder on this row because, you know, the yarn feeder is not involved, right? And for today's video, we maybe just go this far. And the rest part and the ribbon will be made in the next video, okay? And right now, the treasure yarn part has been made. And this pattern has only two needles right here. And uh, if you want to make wider, you just, you know, add more needles. And if you want wider, you can just, you know, uh, ex extend it. Right here, I'm just gonna give maybe uh, 100. Okay. And the rest part, the ribbon, I will explain in the next video. And uh, we maybe just go this far for today's video. Please practice what I did many times until you can do it without, you know, watching my video. And I'll catch you in the next episode.